Hey guys, I'm Amarok and today we will take a look at creating a new map. Here is my project folder I am using and uh, as you can see I have this sort of concept here. Uh, I have created this concept art in the first video of level design series. I will link that video in the description. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of concept you have, still you need to have some sort of concept, some sort of idea how big your map will be. So first of all when you have such an idea, let's create a new folder here in our projects folder. This is a project folder used by Nogit, by the way. So let's make a new folder here and it will be world folder. And let's make db files client folder if you don't have it here already from dbc tutorial. So let's go to world and create maps folder. And into it we will create a folder which will have the same name as our map name will be. So I will call it a tutor a tutorial. So my map will be named tutorial. It will be tutorial map. Name it whatever you would like to. And here we will create our ADTs. How to create ADTs? Well, in my tool pack you can see here is this folder map and here is this ADT editor. So let's run ADT editor. Browse, we will browse for new source ADT and we will use any of those two URL. Any of those two should do. I tend, I prefer to use uh, the, sec the second one, the smaller one, this one. Now, a map name will be tutorial in my case and ADT from ADT2. Uh, these are corners of, uh, of our map. Uh, corner coordinates. Those coordinates must be between 0 and 63. So both of, all, all, four, all four of these numbers need to be between 0 and 63. Uh, so it doesn't matter well, where would you place your map, I just uh, know from my concept that I will need 25 ADTs. 5 times 5. Okay. So let's say that we will place uh, upper left corner in 15, 15, and this leaves us with 19, 19. So these 25 ADTs will be my square map. Uh, how to determine where should your map be placed? It doesn't really matter, uh, but I would advise you to try to stay away from corners and from borders. So try to not use ADTs which are uh, near to 0 or near to 63. So somewhere around middle, so you have a uh, place for expanding your map. Let's move it even to 25, 25 and 29, 29. Okay, so click on start creation and it will just generate your ADTs. So as you can see now, when it is done finally, I've got my 25 ADTs here. Now you will just need to run this offset fix uh, dot bat file, just run it, and it will fix offsets of all ADTs. You don't probably need to do it the first time, but uh, when you uh, rename ADTs, so you move them in coordinates, you move their coordinates basically, you need to use this offset fix on them. If this doesn't work for you, this Sigwin 1 DLL needs to be updated. Download the newest version of this DLL file and you should be fine if offset fix doesn't work for you and makes your PC lag or whatever else. When we have created these ADTs, we'll move them here into our map folder. And that's it. Uh, let's also create some sort of test zone, so I would advise you to move it really, this can be somewhere near uh, the border of your map, so let's say that those four ADTs will be dead. Okay, let's run offset again. And that's pretty much it. Now we can close ADT header, and we will need yet another thing, and that's WDT. So let's open patch 3 here in World of Warcraft data folder, patch 3, uh, and let's go to World Maps Stormwind. I use this WDT as a source WDT. Uh, why? 
Well, I could create a new WDT, but I prefer not to. This is just a less buggy way of doing this thing. Now, when we've got our WDT, we need to rename it so it matches uh, tutorial that it matches our map name. So tutorial WDT, and we, we've got our FDTs here. We've got all of this in our world maps tutorial folder. And now let's go, go back to our tools, to map tools, and we will need me WDT, and we will run me WDT, and now click on load, and let's select tutorial WDT here in this folder, let's open it. Now go to this ADT array, and now just click on scan directory. And it has added new ADTs into my WDT. As you can see here, those are those four I have created as a test zone, and this is our my map. And uh, we don't, but uh, we don't want to have these origin ADTs here. So let's click on delete all, and now scan there again, and now it, that's it. So you can see here this ADT map. So this is 00, zero ADT. This is. 63, 63 ADT, as you can see those coordinates here. So this is whole map, and these are ADTs, these brown ones are ADTs I will have used in my map. And so I have this, you can also modify it by add ADT, and you can start adding ADTs by hand, or you can delete them. So you can modify this by hand as well, but I find it just much more fast to just generate WDT based on your folder. So that's it. Now we can just move back to general and save. And that's pretty much it. So now we've got our map ready here. We need to uh, do yet one more thing. We'll need to modify map TBC. So let's get uh, to our to our TBCs. I've got my Blizzard TBCs here and we will need map dbc and map difficulty dbc i would recommend you to get both of them and to modify both of them so let's just open it my dbc that will be probably quicker for this but whatever so we we all want to create any sort of content just a general content the best thing of doing so is just copying data from some another Continent. So let's just move Azeroth, you select Azeroth's row, right click, copy line, you want to move to the end, create a new line, and we want to paste line, and that's it. Uh, now, what is important is this directory field, you want to rename it to tutorial. This is our map name, we have chosen uh, this is a map name, but inter but uh, internal map name. It is a it is a name of, of our folder where our files are and a name of our files. And this is another map name, but it is a name which is being shown uh, in Nogit, for example. So let's uh, name it tutorial map. By the way, map name shouldn't obviously as it is name of folder and files it shouldn't contain spaces or any sort of weird characters. I would recommend you to just use ASCII characters. And that's pretty much it. We don't need to change anything else here. You might want to change loading screen later and so on, but for now you want to just create a new map and make it work. So this is done, save, and now we want to open map difficulty. Okay, let's open it in here. And map difficulty, uh, we want essentially to do the same. Let's uh, here's a uh, difficulty entry for our Azeroth map. Map so map, sorry. So let's just copy that. Create a new enter here, paste it here. And we, our map ID was seven Q five. And it's pretty much it. So now groups will work correctly on our map as well. You want to save this, you can close this, and that's pretty much it. And now when we run a nugget, let's run our tutorial nugget here. Okay. 
here is our tutorial map now. You can now find it in continent because we have created it as a continent map. So we can open it and we can get to it in Nogi. And here is our map, our flat blank map and we can start working here now. Now if you would like to expand your map, it is actually quite simple as well or if you would like to change its size overall, uh, you can always simply just go to your tools, map tools, uh, grow me WDT and you would like to again load that WDT, go to ADT array and you would just add some ADTs or remove them from here. Uh, just one important note. Uh, World of Warcraft game client will attempt to load only ADTs which are in WDT, which means that if you create a new ADT, for example, 24, 24 ADT, this one, and you, uh, if you don't uh, mark it in, the, in a WDT as well, it won't get loaded in game. Players won't be able to see it. On the other hand, if uh, I would just mark 24, 24 ADT here, now it is marked, and I, uh, if I don't create that ADT so it doesn't exist, game will crash. It will say that uh, ADT couldn't be found and it will just give me error and crash. So uh, make always sure that your uh, WDT is up to date. And just a security note, you can use this uh, for to your advantage and you can have a version of your patch if you have a public private server you can handle to players only WDTs which don't have uh, test zones in them. So I would advise you to create your own custom uh, test zones and uh, add them only to your personal WDT, only to WDT in patch you are handling to your GM team and to your developers. And don't give uh, those ADTs or especially the WDT to players. So when players have, players would have just a, a smaller part of map in their client and they won't be able to even see your test zones, which means that uh, if they manage to hack to your test zones, they won't be able to see ADTs, they won't be able to uh, steal some things from test vendors and so on and so forth. Just a little tip. By the way, uh, deleting some ADTs obviously would just delete them from WDT and then you will just delete them from here. How to, uh, well, how to get these uh, to your MPQ? It's rather simple. You would just create your MPQ HA and you would just make sure that you have your DBCs here. Your map is here as well. And now you would just insert those DBCs into your server's DBC folder as well to let server know that this map is here. And after starting server, you should be able to just enter that map. And that's pretty much it. So this is the way of creating a new map or the way of resizing it. You can resize even this like map. You can add new ADTs to this like map. You can make some of like map smaller, whatever you want. Everything is possible from here. So that's pretty much it. I hope this was useful for you. I hope this I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Take care and happy morning guys.